So I want to ask you something. Do do are you pursue harmony with your music or not? I mean, you you want to your your aim is what is your aim with your music? Or, I mean, where are you going? Mm -hmm. Well, um, I think. I mean, I think that. I feel at this point my goals are are also musical and and also more than musical in the sense of I am involved in academic work um, and involved in trying to really find a productive um, relationship between like basically thinking and sound or you could say thinking and feeling in a way and I've you know grown up in the West here and inherited um, inherited all of these you could say doxa the 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 kind of cultural container that and the assumptions that i grew up in, um accepting as common sense and good sense um was based on all these binaries like body mind like uh, like like individual subject and object um and that goes for for objects but also the way in which we objectify others i am i am here and and my my, I, I can rationalize about my existence and you are there and you are a, an object in a way you're something else other than me. And, and I think that it's been really important to try to, um, in my music, to get beyond some of these, these ways, which I don't think are serving, um, so serving our, ourselves as individuals in terms of how we put ourselves together. We're very complex, psychological and psychic and vital Um, beings and it cannot it, it can't easily be reduced to some kind of a, a psychic or a psychological function uh, our societies the way in which we objectify other people um, within certain types of hierarchical um, class divisions and things like that and and our earth um, you know the fact that we're not we, we can't we can't order we can't in frame and order the earth at our own will because we are humans and anyway the question of our times and i think that part of my um, journey in music has been to explore and experiment with models that that offer other experiences other ways of knowing other knowledges and other ways of of connecting with 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 um intensities that are coming coming from the cosmic from nature um and i did decide at one point that i felt like i was stuck in a problem of tr translation between myself as a as a uh somebody who lived in india learning indian raga music and i was immersed in that that culture i loved being there um as well i, I feel like i could have lived in india my whole life but I chose to come back because I really wanted to honor also the, my Western side and say, well, no, I'm from the West. And how do I make sense of this while coming, living back in the West? And, and I felt that I was stuck because I couldn't communicate so easily um, conceptually. Um, and even with the, the language that, that each culture uses, and there are definitely bridges and there are people and, and um, there are, there are, there've been a lot of attempts at, at doing this, but I just felt like I needed to actually take this up as a serious task because if an artist, some artists are just happy to go into their own kind of their, be in their own world, create a whole different world that, that can open up to something different. Um, whether their goal is to become divine and that escaping the, the algorithmic kind of governmentality of, of the West and creating art that can break out of that. And, and, um, and so I think that, that I decided to take up thinking along these lines in relation with my art in, in hopes that my, my music can help me think differently and think beyond um, these problems in some way, or at least give model and give um, space to, to a different way of thinking. And also, and how my music can better address my thinking. And so I think that that's, that's where I'm at um, in terms of my exploration. And I also am trying to, I'm trying to understand the relationship of art in the world today 
And when we look at the world today, the globalized capitalistic world, is that art functions in a in a generally in a very specific sense that it's a commodity that it's a it's a flavor of consumption it's um it's an investment you know when you get into conceptual modern art a lot of the times people aren't really interested too much in the questions it poses or how it can it can bring you to a, a relation with with something greater than themselves in a sense of like the infinite or a divine or a nature um um or a, a, a different world, a, a, a more, a more inclusive or a s equal world. Um, it's more like, well, this is just an investment because I know it's going to, it's a great investment. It's going to keep its value. <laughs> so things are constantly being reduced to capital as the master signifier, you know? Um, and I think that that's part of me understanding my, first of all, myself, my upbringing in, in the West, also why I left and why I tried to rebuild myself a, according to a different um, ideas. And so now that I'm back in the West again, it is, it is confronting this problem head on in a way because it's inevitable, um, it, it's inevitability. And so I think that a lot of my goals with, um, with, the, with my music are, are very much coming out of the goals of integral yoga, um, of, you know, of, of cultivating alternative spaces, um, um, where you can experiment in self self becoming and exceeding um, in 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 yogic um, practices that can kind of allow you to to grow and deepen your your connection with with other with the cosmic with nature with others with sound um, or whatever medium you're working in um, and uh, and start doing that in collectives as well which is really where. Oroville is a place that is a great example that was an experiment that started along these lines. And the mother really said, this is an experiment. We don't know. We don't know what's, what's possible, but let's, we have to try. Mm -hmm. And so I look at my, uh, my work as, as the intersection of all these things and as, as really as an experiment. Um, and um, that's, that's sort of a little bit, I guess, <laughs> hard, hard to describe, but. <laughs> mm -hmm.